Hey, what is going on, everybody? And welcome back to Cracker Gaming. And today we are going to start a new tutorial series. And rather than the traditional tutorial series where you blah, blah, blah your way through a number of different things that you can do, we're going to try and do this a little bit differently. Now, this is going to be called a Cracker's Guide to Minecraft. And the way this is going to work is we're kind of kind of go and go in the game the way that you know you probably should progress uh, with some suggestions and how to do certain things and try to go in it in a sensical manner because when you're doing a tutorial series it's really easy to list off a bunch of things and say this is how you build this this is how you make this this is how you create any number of things but it doesn't always make sense in the order. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and do it as if we're, you know, playing the game, but we're going to explain it all. So the first thing is, is you're going to install Minecraft if you haven't already. It's just the Mojang um, Minecraft.net website. Purchase it, download it, install it, set everything up, which that's not something that I'm going to really get into here uh, there's plenty of people out there who have put guides and it's really self-explanatory but once you're done you'll be on a screen that looks like this and you'll have your options single player multiplayer blah 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 we're going to do single player and you see all these different worlds I've got going on in here my old tutorial world we're gonna create a new world and this is going to be called Cracker's guide to minecraft whoa uh, we're going to do it in survival and we're going to go into some more world options uh, cheats on because sometimes you just need to <clears throat> and I have a seed that I'm going to use if you want to follow along in this series you can go ahead and use it as well but there it is you might recognize the seed it's actually from my latest cracker goes for a run episode and that is by design I really liked the starting point in that seed so we're going to go ahead and use that to do this world. Uh, default world, structures on, bonus chest off. We're done here. I don't think there's anything else. These are the different game modes you can do. Hardcore, creative, survival. We are going to do survival. And we are going to create this new world. And when it is done loading, it should be in a planes with some cool features nearby let's wait for it all right there we are in the plains i hear the cows i see the horses and when you start you start basically at the dawn of a new day the sun is rising and it is rising from the east clouds of course in this game move from east to west so if you really need to get your orientation and you don't see the sun just look at the clouds the clouds head towards west so that makes that way north that way south so on and so forth now first thing you want to do is you want to kind of take a look around and see what's in the general area we've got some cows bouncing around so we've got the food and we got some sugar cane we've got plenty of trees different types of trees we got a birch forest over here we've got of course sheep for the wool to make beds in the future and all kinds of stuff so you really just want to kind of get an idea of what's around your general vicinity and it's good to have a multitude of things now the other reason I chose this is because I know oh hey coal oh lava that's always good to hear lava in the open the other reason I chose this is because I know off in that direction is a mega taiga which is going to be good so over here you've got the oak wood we've got some more cows no visible caves but that's not a big deal and just kind of get a quick look around and see because i really actually have only gone one direction in this world so i really don't know and i just said those dreaded words one direction i am so terribly sorry everybody i will Oh, hello. Oh, look at that. There's a baby. There's a wit. No. There's a witch down there. I need to stop running. I'm killing my hunger bar. So the, the controls of Minecraft are simple. It's the, the WASD keys. 
W moves you forward, A moves you sideways, S moves you backwards, D moves you the other way. You use the mouse to look around. Left click, quick, left click punches. Right click is used in a couple of functions. Oh, thanks, I could use those seeds at some point. And then E pops open your inventory, which gives you the uh, achievement inventory, uh, taking inventory. Uh, stop running. Uh, double clicking the W will make you run. You can also assign it. I have it assigned as G because that's real easy for me to hit. Space makes you jump. Uh, shift will make you crouch, which allows you to look over edges and kind of see what's going on. And so on and so forth. Uh, those are the basic controls. Now, of course, you can go in and take a look at them as you see. Attack, destroy, use item, place block. That's when you actually have like a, a wooden plank or something in your hand. You can use the right mouse button to, to do. And as you see, I've customized this one. Uh, pick block, with, I'll get to that in just a second. You've got your various hot bars. Take a screenshot. Cinematic capture, I don't have that set. That's why it hasn't been working. And you can change your perspective. There's a lot to look at. You can go in here, though, and kind of get a look at what the various keys do. It seems like it changes all the time. You can adjust the sensitive sensitivity, so on and so forth, to carry on. The other thing you can do is, you know, I play on hard, but you can, you know, if you have texture or resource packs, you can go ahead and select them in here. I actually have a couple, but I'm not going to use them in a tutorial series. And then you have your video settings which will allow you to determine how the game runs. I have VSync on because I noticed when it's off, it's a little, it's the main, the frame rate doesn't hold as much and it seems kind of bouncy. It's weird to say, but if your computer, laptop, whatever, can't handle it, turn the graphics to fast. I have smooth lighting all the way on. I have my render distance at 12 chunks, frame rate unlimited. These are things along with the sounds that you really want to play with. I think I've got it at a good level. Uh, that's something you experiment with on your own. But the first thing is, the one reason I love this seed is because we have an ice spikes taiga, or ice spikes play, um, biome right there. And we're gonna go over here. We're gonna hop in. We're gonna, first thing you wanna do in this game is you wanna get some trees, cause you need trees to do everything if you want to do, get anywhere in this game you need to get some wood and that sounds very dirty when you say it like that to do this you just have to hold the left mouse button down you have to make sure you're holding it if you don't hold it it won't work you'll see the block slowly disintegrate and then it'll pop into your hand into your hot bar which is right down below you use the mouse wheel to scroll through it when you have multiple items they will pop in your hand as you select them now, once you break all these blocks, all these wooden logs off, the leaves in the tree will start to disintegrate. I'll break this one. I'm going to go over here and oh, oh, we already got ourselves a uh, sapling. See? Look at that. See? Mouse wheel scrolling around. You can also use the number keys to change that. So we're going to go over here and we're going to punch some more wood as it is said and we're going to get ourselves into some better arrangements. Now a lot of times when you play this game you're going to just make yourself a little sh temporary shelter, just something you can hop into to survive the night and a couple of saplings is good. and I think we're just going to have to pick a spot because there's not really anything that's there's not really anything that just screams shelter out in the open. I mean, there's that one cave, but it was riddled with monsters. And yes, with these, we will get to you at some point. It is fantastic that you are over here already because the last tutorial I really had to search to find them. Now, I'm just kind of taking a quick peek to see if there isn't anything suitable we're about midday so we want to get ourselves situated here soon 
usually I like to go into the side of like a little hill because then you can come across any number of things that you will need right away. First things first, you need to get used to your inventory screen. Now, all the items that you collect in the game will fit in these slots. And as it stands, I don't like having this kind of stuff down here. Hey, don't fall down like that. You scared the crap out of me. Okay. Because during the day, there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, you might see a creeper. You might see a spider. The creepers will blow up, but the spiders will leave you alone. So you really just got to watch out for the creepers and witches. Witches will show up. I've encountered them a few times. But as it stands, this wooden log, this birch wood, is useless the way it is. We need to put it into a better form, and to do that, we are going to take it. We're going to put it into this crafting area. You just pick it up with the left mouse button. If you want to split it, you just right-click. And you can split all the way down. And we're going to place one in here. And you see what happens? You get four wood planks. Now, wood planks you can do a little bit more with. For instance, if you place one in each of these corners, you get yourself a crafting table. And you get the achievement benchmarking. This crafting area is going to be a lifesaver. And for now, excuse me, sheep, we are going to put it down right here. And we are going to get to work because we need a few things before we head into this cave. And that little stone block right there is going to be the key to a lot of stuff. So we're going to take more of these and we're going to make more wood planks. Now, if you want to, you can keep left clicking to get all the wood planks or you could shift click. I like shift clicking. It's faster. Whoa. That was an enderman. Don't look at him. You'll be fine. Unless you're me, and you just had a heart attack. Good golly. All right. We need sticks. Uh, so right-clicking and putting them in the slot right here will give you four sticks. You can also hold the right mouse button and drag down into the, each of the squares, and you see that does the same effect. We're going to shift-click that, and we're going to make a handle with two sticks, and then we're going to take three planks like so and shaped like that it looks like a pick doesn't it well we're going to go ahead and do that and we're also going to make an axe because axes cut trees faster so we have our first tools of the game we're going to go ahead and grab this right away now the thing about minecraft is that you have to use the right tool for the job if you really want to be successful for instance if you try to uh, chop a tree with an axe or with a pick it'll work but it's not the most efficient way to do it now let's go ahead and get this and perfect this is what we want you see how that dirt block just popped in my hand now here we have stone now if you hit this with your hand it'll disappear eventually but it's not very good to you in that sense and we really got to keep an eye on our food we may have to uh, slaughter a couple of cows and just immediately jump into food sooner than I want but we're not doing food in this episode. I'll get pretty hungry first, but I'm going to go ahead and break some of this. And as you see, it gives you some cobble. And the reason this is important, because one, actually this dirt block comes in handy. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to make ourselves a handy dandy stair. There, that's a little better. Then we're going to make this shelter el numero number one. It's right outside this little area. Good view. I hear the horse nearby. We're just going to carve this out because this is doing two things. It's giving us stone, which can be used to make better tools. And we will be able to make a furnace, which in the next episode, when I talk about hunger and food, will allow us to cook some of that food. So we're just going to break as much as we can. We're just going to hollow this out a little bit. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. Probably go back and grab that solitary piece of coal we saw. Because coal is always nice to have. It helps with a number of things, including torches and cooking your food. So we're going to get preemptive. We're going to go over here and use our wooden axe for purposes not meant to be used. And go ahead and take care of them. That's a couple pieces. We can safely get rid of a couple of these cows and not have to worry. So, as you see, 
I got a critical strike on that one, so it reduced the number of hits. It's getting dark. And this is when it gets interesting, so we're going to see if we can't find that piece of coal pretty quickly. Hunger bar be darned. I know I went over this way. It's kind of running around. And I happen to see it. If we don't see it right away, we're just going to have to bail. I'm going to actually have to utilize a different tactic to come up with it and I don't so let's get out of here because it's probably off in that direction somewhere and let's get to our little shelter and we're going to hold ourselves up for the night before things start to come out because we don't want to get assailed and from here we're gonna place this right there this will keep everything out uh, they can come in and look at me if they want but they cannot Get in here. In the meantime, let's clear a little space. And we're actually gonna go ahead and do that there. That's a little bit better. And now it's nighttime, and this is when the nasties come out, and this is when things get a little bit real. And as you see, my hunger is way down. So we're going to go ahead and we're gonna get some preparations ready. Uh, first things first, let's give ourselves a sword. Here's your handle, and then two pieces of stone, and we will get the time to strike achievement. We're going to upgrade our pick, also using cobble. And you see getting an upgrade, and now we're going to do two more things. So you can go ahead and put the number of handles you need, and then we're gonna make a shovel. But we're also going to make an ax, and as you see what I did there, I've got two pieces here, so when I pull this ax, Look what it does. It leaves you the shovel. Fantastic. So let's get this out. Let's get this out. And now we can make one more thing. Put these guys in around like this, around the center, and you get yourself a furnace. Plop this down and an old trick to making some handy dandy materials is to put some wood up here put your planks in here and what you will get this was implemented a while back it'll get you charcoal so until we find those pieces of coal we can go ahead and use these i'm going to make a couple pieces i don't want to i don't need a ton of it just enough to cook this and make a couple of torches so we're gonna let this piece make and yeah we'll let all this burn up it's not a big deal it's not gonna make it anyway watch 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 and when it runs out bam so now we'll just make a couple more sticks. You can do this. Anything that only needs four blocks, you can do in your normal crafting area, and that includes torches, sticks, and a couple of other items like buttons like that. Uh, we're just going to make another set of sticks, and then we're going to go ahead and make two sets of torches. You see that? You give you put the coal, the coal or charcoal on top. You get yourself four tor four torches, and then with the right mouse button. You give yourself some light. Let there be light. As you see, can't see anything. And it's better that way. So now you have a workspace to work in. And you should be able to survive your first night with relative ease. As long as nothing can, can drop in and shoot you. Like right here, I should be safe. Because they can't get to this block and they can't get there. So should be safe. Should be able to work in relative ease. If you need to, though, you can always completely block it off but I like to be able to see so we'll, we're gonna leave this open and in the next episode we're gonna make some food we're gonna talk about the hunger bar and move on from there so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more crackers guide to minecraft